Hey everyone, so in a video that I recently put up uh, showing how to put the switch in Spanish uh, to practice in our language, it seemed like most people were interested in that video, uh, not because of the Spanish part, but because I was playing on a CRT. So <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you how I got my con uh, switch connected to this CRT um, because, yeah, it is a pretty awesome way to play. Um, so yeah, so first off, let me show you up here what I have. So yeah, so here is my Nintendo Switch, and this is a dot, my dock. Um, it is an official dock, it's just that I've taken out the board inside of it and used one of these kits to make a portable dock, um, but it's, it is first party all inside. Just makes it a lot easier to move around. Um, so anyway, got the dock here, and then I have the official Nintendo cable, HDMI cable. You don't need, obviously any HDMI cable work, but that's just what I'm using. Um, yeah, and then the magic part though is first it's this So this is a HDMI to VGA um, adapter Yeah, and the one I one I have is uh, by 10 DAC and I'll, I'll put a link to all this stuff in the description um, but yeah, this converts the HDMI signal from the switch and it, Then it converts it to VGA um, and actually, I also am using an HDMI switcher because, uh, I mean, this TV obviously doesn't have HDMI input on it, but I also want to hook more devices than just the switch into it. So, like, I also have, like, a Roku hooked into it and uh, my PS3 as well. So, anyway, multiple HDMI devices and I'll, yeah, again, I'll, I'll put a link to this stuff in the description. Um, but, yeah, and then another thing that you will need is if you get this particular device you'll probably need a mini gender changer um yeah unless you just plug this directly in because uh, let's see let me show you so so let me pause the video while i unplug this okay so yeah so you can see so this particular adapter um it, it uh, converts the hdmi into a male vga so if you're gonna plug this directly into like a vga monitor or something then yeah, you probably could get away with just using this device. But if you're gonna use an actual VGA cable like what I'm using, then you'll need one of these to convert the male into female. Um, yeah. And then also uh, another thing is if, I what I like about this adapter is that it also has out audio out. Um, so you could, on the switch, you could use the headphone jack on the top here in a pinch if you need audio and you don't, and your HDMI um, to audio or HDMI to VGA cable or adapter doesn't have an audio out you could use the headphone jack on the switch That works fine. I've used that before um, But this is a lot more convenient. I think it's the audio is a little cleaner too when you do it this way um, Now there are a few other options for these adapters uh, There's also this one that I've used that works really good. Um, however, I decide not to use it in this video particularly because the particular one that I used um, they like it's just like the Amazon page isn't even available anymore so I mean if you find one that looks like this then yeah you can give it a try just make sure you get one that has audio out um, I've seen a few different variants some of them even have like a, a micro USB cable going in for power um, and no audio out so anyway just look for one that has audio out um, but yeah I really like this one though especially because the audio is on the audio out is on the bottom Whereas where this one's on the side, it seems like it's always like gaining the way of other stuff. So anyway, yeah, I would I would recommend this one. You just need to make sure you get one of these potentially. Um, but yeah, but that's just half of the puzzle. So then after VGA, because this TV being an SD CRT uh, doesn't have a VGA input either. <laughs> so then from the analog VGA, um, I'm actually using this device over here. It's not showing anything on the screen right now because I have the cable unplugged. Um, but yeah, you can see here, this is an Xtron uh, v, VSC 700D. Um, yeah, and I, I just got the 700 because it was I found a really good price on it. Someone was just getting rid of it on eBay. Um, but yeah, if you get the 500 series though, the VSC 500, that one also works just fine. 
And this one has a few features that that one doesn't, but I mean, the features it has, I haven't even used, so it might as well just be a VSC 500. Um, however, there is one advantage that the VSC 500 has over this, and that's uh, here on the back. Um, so this one, all of the inputs are RGB. There's no VGA, and so this VGA cable that I'm using actually uh, then takes the VGA that you saw before and then it it takes the RGB and the horizontal and vertical sync and yeah um, Separates all that from the VGA plug and so you will need one of if you do get the 700 series You will need one of these special cables to convert VGA to RGB uh, HS um, Or RGB uh, HV I mean sorry uh, yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, so then once you're going into the Extron, and again, you don't have to use the Extron either. I have other converters, uh, that also seem to work pretty good. This one is just the, uh, this is my personal favorite. Um, well, <laughs> I actually also have an Extron 900, which I even like even better because you can easily switch between, uh, presets, but... Um, I generally wouldn't recommend the 900 to anyone because it's usually pretty expensive. It was just, again, I just happened to find it for a really good price of a church that was getting rid of it. So I got really lucky on that, but usually those can go for hundreds of dollars and I don't think it's worth it for what it does. Um, but anyway, whatever Extron device you get, probably the 500 is the one I would recommend. But um, yeah, so you would take your 500 and the 500 does have a VGA directly into it. So you don't have to worry about this RGB stuff. Although VGA is RGB, it's just that it's just one, you know, concise cable. But anyway, you plug your VGA into it, or RGB if you're using one of these. And then over here, you can see the output. So there's, you can output, I think you can even output like, um, well, yeah, you can. You can output like RGB uh, S, which is just like RGB and then a sync, which has, which combines horizontal and vertical sync. So you can do that. Um, or what I'm doing here is I'm actually just outputting to component. Um, yeah, and then, but then what's also really nice is that there's also an S video output and there's a composite video output. So, and actually I think you can do, yeah, you can do, you can also output um, RGB HV as well, uh, just in 480i. Um, oh yeah, that, that's why I forgot to mention. So this... Uh, Extron, it'll just take uh, anything up to at least uh, 1080p, which is the max resolution the switch can do anyway. So it will take 1080p and then downscale it to 480i, which is what these uh, SD CRTs accept. Um, yeah, and so yeah, I'm just happy to, I'm using component because that's just what this particular HD, or sorry, uh, SD CRT, that's the max. Uh, the best signal it can accept. Um, but I've also used this quite a bit with S-Video on another CRT I have, and it S-Video works great as well. Uh, even, even composite works really good, so. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, oh, that's right, I forgot. So uh, there is one more little quirk with this thing. Since this is a professional uh, video scaling device, um, let's see, I guess I just have to to take out all of them. I just have to take out one. But um, so it actually uses uh, BNC connectors. Um, let me pause the video while I pull one of these out. Okay, there you go. Now you can see it better. Um, so anyway, this is not your you know regular RCA jack. You know, like what you'd see on a regular composite or component cable, or, or like down here you can see on this VCR I have. This is your regular RCA. Um, however since this is a professional equipment that um, they put these BNC adapters on it because then uh, you know companies can just set it up once they don't have to, they don't have to worry about cables coming unplugged so um, these BNC adapters they have a locking mechanism on them if you if you didn't know so anyway uh, but it's really easy to convert them to um, to RCA uh, because yeah the the positive you know signal the data goes in the center and then just uses the outside for ground and that's the exact same as these RCA cables so 
anyway, long story short, um, short there's these uh, um, BNC to RCA adapters you can get, and I'll put a link for those in the description as well. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I'll probably put it for these uh, these silver ones because I actually think those ones uh, work a little better. Although these gold ones work too. I don't think they're real gold, but <laughs> anyway. Uh, but yeah, I think that's everything for the adapters. Um, now there's there's just one more thing that I'll show you on the front. So um, just while I'm putting this back on, back on. So the the original purpose of this device, you know, why Extron created this uh, ESC was because um, it was meant for you know professional use where they're converting a computer signal into uh, 480i that can be used on a TV. And so uh, since it's a computer signal, um, computers, they always output, almost always, unless you like change the settings, um, they'll output in a full RG, RGB mode, full range RGB mode. And so um, if you do go with this Extron, you'll want to change your switch settings or whatever other console or media device you're using to, to do full RGB. And it kind of it kind of changes, the naming uh, changes depending on what console you're using. Um, but yeah, at least for the switch it's called full, so let me, I'll show you what that is here uh, in front. Let's see, let me turn off this flash. Okay. That looks like my controller turned off. Okay, so, yeah, so you want to go into system settings. Let me focus this. There we go. So yeah, so right now I can already tell it's unlimited because everything just looks a little washed out. Um, so yeah, so the problem is that that Extron up here, it's uh, it's expecting a full range signal coming from a computer. Um, however, this VGA adapter I have, um, it's I guess it's just telling the the switch that it's a limited device uh, because most TVs, almost all TVs are just limited range RGB and uh, limited in uh, full range uh, really it's the same quality you just want to make sure you match uh, whatever setting your TV or monitor or whatever is expecting and so yeah so you can see right now I have it on automatic and I can tell it's full range I mean it's yeah I can tell it's limited range in fact if I choose limited range you can see the colors didn't change at all <clears throat> However, if I choose full range, you can see everything got a little bit darker, and that just uh, changes where um, the adapter is expecting the black level signals to be at. Um, and so, yeah, that's why everything just got a little darker there. Um, but yeah, that will make the colors for this particular adapter look a lot more vibrant. Um, if you go with an adapter that is more designed for com or uh, not commercial, um, just personal use, just home use, then it probably would uh, accept and be expecting limited range, and so you'd want to choose limited. Um, but anyway, that's just a little wrinkle. If you do get one of these Extrons, I'm almost 100% sure you should put it on full range. Um, so yeah, that looks pretty awesome. Now, uh, there's one more thing, which I'm sure probably some of you have already been uh, screaming at your phone the whole <laughs> since the beginning of the movie or the video is that the aspect ratio is off so um yeah i'm also a stickler on aspect ratio although i i do like it filling up the full screen but unfortunately the switch doesn't have a native four by three aspect ratio option and so um on these uh, sd crt sets you have a few different options um some sets have the ability where you can actually go into the menu so like this this trinitron is from the early 2000s and it actually has in set up a 6x9 enhanced mode so if I turn that on it'll actually add black bars to the bottom and top of the screen screen and then that will um, it's actually a pretty cool feature because it doesn't just squish the image down um, Sony actually also made it so it like the electron beam doesn't draw anything like it's not drawing black there that's literally just nothing you're literally look, looking into the glass and instead it, it has the 480 lines that it's drawing um, and it, it just draws 480 lines all here so it's basically like a very compressed high definition image um, 
Yeah, and I I don't know. I think that might be unique to Sony TVs. I'm not sure if other companies ever implement something like that. But um, either way, your TV might at least have an option where you can just size down the image, even if it doesn't have like the hyper dense <laughs> in the middle. Where yeah, it, it actually is a pretty awesome uh, feature of this Sony uh, CRT. This is a Vega model. Um, but anyway. Uh, I would say though that the vast majority. Oh, I just pushed the. <laughs> sorry, I just pushed the channel button by accident. Um, anyway, I would say the vast majority of uh, H or uh, ST CRTs um, are actually like uh, this one over here that I have under the blanket, um, and yeah, maybe I'll actually. You know what? I'll let me hook it up to this one. I'll show you what I mean because. If your if your TV doesn't have this special special uh, 60 by 9 in band, uh, enhanced mode, then there's actually uh, with this Extron you can actually scale the image and get the right aspect ratio. So uh, let me show you that. Hold on one second. Okay, so I guess I technically didn't have to <laughs> connect it to this TV, but anyway, this this little TV is from 1992, and uh, yeah, it only has composite and RF in. So yeah, this is. Uh, Going from, coming from the Extron uh, composite. This one's component, as we said before. Um, but yeah, I mean, as you can see though, I mean, composite on a CRT looks pretty awesome, especially if it's a smaller one. Sorry, my phone's going a little crazy on the camera there. <clears throat> um, but yeah, in some ways I actually like it better than the bigger TV. Uh, but anyway, so if your TV doesn't have the auto uh, shrinking function or whatever you want to call it then uh, what's nice about a lot of these scalers um, especially the Extrons is it has a, a internal um, size controls here so yeah so the default mode though is uh, it will center um, so yeah as you can see as I'm as I move these uh, this control here um, you can see it actually will go from left to right um, yeah, in fact, uh, let me just show you, because I already have this set up, so I'm just going to go into this uh, menu here, and then I'm going to click Next to, to do an auto on it. Um, so that gets it okay, but as you can see, there's now a black bar on the, on the like there's a border on some of the sides here. You can see on this TV too. Um, so anyway, uh, so yeah, so that's where then these uh, fine tune controls come in. So when you first plug it in, this is probably what it would look like. Um, but anyway, as you can see, you can move the, the image around, you know, up and down and left to right. Um, yeah, to make sure that everything is showing. And then, uh, and then, but then what you can also do is on this size, you click this button, then you can also like compress the image and like make it widescreen. Um, and you can also, you know, make it, yeah, you can see I can go in both directions and you can see the numbers change in here too so that tells you um, I guess probably how many pixels across it is so anyway and you can see as I'm doing that it's changing the size of the image um, so yeah you can see that on, that on this little TV too um, but yeah anyway you just kind of play around with that so uh, this isn't by any means going to be perfect right now but yeah so what I do though, if if the TV I'm using, like this little one, if it doesn't have the automatic widescreen mode, then I just kind of move it into the center here and then just uh, mess around with that, those settings to get it to an acceptable aspect ratio. Um, and something I like to do to test too, to make sure the aspect ratio looks good, is I like to go to this uh, home switch home menu. And look at these circles, they should be perfectly round. And so, so like the default setting, we'll have it like this where it, it fills up more of the screen, excuse me. And uh, yeah, so they'll look more like ovals, which isn't the end of the world. You really, to tell you the truth, once once you get into a game, if you just left your TV like this, um, you don't realize it too much. Um, yeah, and it is kind of nice to have the, the taller image too. So um, I have a friend that prefers to play like this. Um, his name is uh, Lance Neon. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so this is a fine way to play, but but yeah, I mean, you can make it, you know, a little bit better, have those 
look more like circles and then move it to the center of the screen. And then it basically turns into a widescreen set. Uh, but yeah, but with the benefits of a CRT. Um, so yeah, anyway. Uh, let's see, what else could I say about this? Oh yeah, so um, you can also use this. So like if you have a PVM or something you want to put the switch on, um, this Extron can output uh, um, like RGB signal. So if you go to output config and then next, right now it's on component, but then with this uh, this uh, knob, you can actually change it to RGB. So like you can see that's RGB HV, which is like, um, yeah, <laughs> like uh, VGA. Uh, here's RGB S, which at least works, but it does obviously the colors don't work, look right. Um, but yeah, basically though, component RGB S, um, or actually, oh no, no, sorry. You know what? This isn't RGBS. This is RGSB. So this is uh, sync on green. That's right. I forgot about that. Um, I have a Mitsubishi monitor that appears, it seems like it only works on RGSB. And so, yeah, if you need that particular type of RGB, um, then yeah, go for it. Um, but yeah, anyway. Anyway, there's different type of uh, output options is what I'm trying to say. Um, so actually, if your PVM doesn't accept RGBS, then uh, it'd probably be better to go with component um, if it accepts that, or RGB HV, um, or S video even. I think a lot of PVMs accept that. Or you know, worse, you know, push comes to shove, just do composite. I mean, composite on a CRT still looks pretty good, generally speaking. Um, yeah, not as good as S video if you saw my other video, but. Anyway, yeah, I think that's pretty much how I uh, how I have this set up. Let me put this back to component so it actually looks good. There we go. <laughs> yeah, component and RGB are um, almost the same quality. Technically, RGB is better, but in practice, it's really hard to tell the difference. So anyway, um, let me just pause the video for just one second to make sure I didn't forget anything. Okay, yeah, I don't think I forgot anything, so anyway, um, yeah, I guess the key point is that you just want to make sure that you have, um, you know, your converter. Uh, I guess one thing I can, I can mention is you'll if you go on Amazon and just look for HDMI to, like, composite or, like, analog converter, you'll see a lot of cheap adapters on there. Um, they work fine. I've, I actually was using the HDMI to composite adapter. That was like the first adapter I got when I first kind of got into converting signals. It works fine. I actually end up giving it to a friend though because this is a lot better. Um, but yeah, it, it does have some input lag though and like, I don't know, the composite isn't like isn't the greatest on it. I feel like the Xtron composite is better but I haven't done a direct comparison so I can't say that for sure. Um, but yeah, I it, so yeah, you could go for one of those cheap adapters though. Um, but I would recommend going for something a bit more um, professional if you can, especially if you can find a you know a VSC 500 for a good price. Um, but yeah, so anyway, you'll need a so you'll need some sort of converter. And if you do go with something like a like this uh, Extron, then you'll also need a HDMI to VGA converter. And then depending on the model of the Xtron you get, you might need a VGA to RGB converter as well, which you see I have that in the, the cable. Again, I'll put all this stuff in the description. Um, but yeah, let's see what else. Um, you'll also need, a, um, if you go with the Xtron, you'll need the BNC adapters to RCA. So then you can, uh, yeah, get, use your regular component cables and yeah, then just hook it into the back of the TV. Um, yeah, I guess I could show you what the... Well, no, no, yeah. I, well, yeah, I, I guess I could show you, just in case you don't know what the component video connections look like. You probably do if you're, you know, if you've gotten this far. But <laughs> anyway, I, I won't actually pull out this TV because it's pretty heavy and it's... I could if I want to, but it's, it's usually just best to leave it in place. But anyway, this is component, so these are the exact same things that are on the back of this TV. So just the green, the blue, and the red, and yeah, you just plug that in, and then you have your audio for sound right and left channel. So yeah, you just take that from the 
Um, oh, you know what? That reminds me. There was that is one more thing that I forgot to mention. Um, speaking of sound, so let's see for the audio cable. Oh, I thought I had an extra one of those around here. Oh, here it is. Yeah, hold on. Let's see. Yeah. So for the audio cable, uh, you'll also need one of these. So you saw on that HDMI to VGA adapter, it has a, a 3.5 millimeter um, out uh, headphone jack out on it. And then the other end uh, breaks out into these um, RCA cables. So anyway, you'll need one of those too. I'll, I'll put that in the description as well. Um, but anyway, yeah, I think that should do it. So yeah, this is an awesome way to play the Switch. Uh, it's, it is important though to keep expectations in check. I mean, the image won't be as sharp as like playing on a, like a HD TV um, or like an HD CRT or whatever. Um, like for example, if you're, if you're going to go talk to someone, um, hold on, let me pause the video while I find someone to talk to. Okay, there we go, I found someone. Um, but yeah, you can see the, the text is readable, but it is a little blurry. Um, I think it actually, on the bigger CRT, it actually shows up a bit better. It might be because it's component too. The colors are um, a bit more clear. Um, but anyway, but yeah, you just want to keep in mind that everything is going to just be a little bit more blurry uh, because, yeah, I mean, you are converting an HD signal 1080p to 480i, so that's quite a big uh, drop in quality as far as resolution goes. Now if you're doing it, if you're playing this on an HD CRT and you can actually push like 720p, um, like on the KD34XBR960 I have, then yeah, it, it looks a lot clearer. But even then it still doesn't look as clear as like an OLED or whatever. Um, but yeah, but what CRTs do have that um, other TVs don't is it has great motion clarity. So like on that uh, sweeping shot where it did, where he, he looks over there. Um, that's something that would look very like jagged on an OLED screen and like you can really see it jump whereas on a CRT it's like almost perfect motion quality if maybe it is even perfect motion quality but anyway yeah these these banding shots just look really awesome on a CRT. Um, another advantage of the CRT is that the colors pop out of the screen it's pretty awesome as well. Um, yeah it's it's very very cool especially compared to an lcd i'll probably do another video where i compare a crt to an lcd more in depth um but yeah anyway there are advantages but just keep in mind there are disadvantages uh i guess another disadvantage is just the girth <laughs> like the size of these things especially like they get exponentially heavier and bigger the bigger screen size you go like this one's pretty easy for me to carry around by itself this is a 20 inch this is a 32 inch and yeah, I needed someone to help me carry this in and it was, yeah, quite the, quite the project. Um, yeah, but anyway, they can get quite heavy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that should do it. If you have any questions, just let me know. And yeah, if you need any follow up videos or whatever, just yeah, let me know about that too. And yeah, again, links for everything in the description, uh, their Amazon affiliate links. I'm trying to grow the channel. So if you do want to support me with that, that'd be great. Um, yeah, it doesn't cost you anything more. Just. Amazon just gives me a bit back for recommending the products to you. So anyway, yeah, I guess we'll talk to you later. Bye.